hi guys so I decided since in my last video I told you I didn't have any more false eyelashes um, that I was going to make a trip to Ulta so this video is my mini 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 Ulta haul so let's jump into it so first off I guess I'll jump into the lashes I actually have on they are the Demi Wispies, the Ardell Demi Wispies, but these ones are the Studio Effects Customized by a Makeup Artist. So it has the Demi Wispies then with, as the package says, a few little singles. So they're a lot fuller on the end. And they were buy one, get one 50% off, so I grabbed some more Wispies because the Demi Wispies are my favorite. They fit my eye perfectly. I don't have to trim them. They fit like a glove. Okay. So I couldn't just get those. So I got the Allure London Luxe in Gilded. Hmm. Just look at them for a second. Mm -hmm. They're gorgeous. Thinking I might use these for Halloween. Halloween? Halloween. Okay, so they are um, mink effect lashes, um, contact lens friendly, and they're reusable just to run it out there. And by the same brand, I got the Bresk R-O-K. I can't read. Um, okay, so <laughs> these almost look to me like the Ardell Wispies, only a lot longer and fluffier. Again, they're contact lens friendly and reusable with the mink effect lashes. These are very pretty. They were not on sale. I think they were like 10 bucks a pair where the Ardell Demi Wispies are way cheaper. Way. Okay. So now on to the goodies because there's just a few. Just a few. Um, I picked up the Matrix Biolage Advanced, the Pro Keratin Renewal Spray, as you guys know, as my from my recent favorites or my past favorites I've been using the shampoo and conditioner for this and so I figured I would get the spray as well I'm still using the shampoo and conditioner still loving it um right now at Ulta if you do a $20 purchase of the matrix you get this matrix color results color obs or total results I'm sorry color obsession shampoo and conditioner so I got those. I'm not going to be keeping them. I'm going to be gifting them. <sighs> so there's that. Okay. Now, I <laughs> another reason why I headed over to Ulta was I am out of my concealer. My um, Urban Decay Naked. Mm -hmm. Naked. Um, and <laughs> Ulta had my shade. Actually, they had quite a few of them stocked in the Tarte Shape Tape. So I went ahead and got this in fair um, and we'll see how I like it. I have a smidge left of my Urban Decay so I will kind of maybe do half the face, half the face. We'll see. Um, then moving along here, I did get just the little size of the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. I have never used this and I've heard lots of good reviews on this. And I figured since so many of my products were, I just reused the same products over and over and over again, figured I would give this guy a shot, see how well he performs rather than the Makeup Forever primer that I normally use. Then, very totally boring, um, I got the Total Perversion Reloaded um, Mascara. I don't even want to admit how old my mascara is, but... Clearly I saw that I had the mascara, so yay, great, I get to replace it. Then I had seen at Sephora that they had a set just like this with the full-size perversion mascara and then the travel size mascara, which I actually like the wand on the travel size a little bit better. Plus you go through mascara so fast and it goes bad that it's cheaper in the long run to get the travel size. That's what I thought I was getting. And then... Lo and behold, I got the Perversion Waterproof Fine Point Eye Pen. So eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. I did do my cat eyeliner with it today. Um, I like it and I have been using the Art Liner by Lancome. You guys know, again, this is the one I always use. So here we'll, <laughs> we'll get 
give this one a go. Um, almost finished. This lip color I have on now, I did not buy today. I bought it a few weeks ago, but I figured I would throw it in because this is the first time I've actually used it. It's the Maybelline Color Jolt Intense Lip Paint Lacquer. It's supposed to be a dupe for the... Oh, sorry. Um... For the Too Faced Melted, um, actually they're pretty close, um, it goes on, it felt, it feels a little, not drying, but it feels a little dry, like my lips don't feel dry, but it doesn't feel as very moisturizing, but so far I like it and it's way cheaper than the Melted, um, then lastly, um, this caught my eye as I was walking out, have no idea how well it will perform. But Ulta has their own brand of beauty sponges, makeup blending sponge duo. Guys, look, I'm over here thinking I'm going to find gold, okay? Just like that stupid glitter that I used in the tutorial. What's going on my hair? These two sponges were $10. $10. Look, I'm going to show you the dirty one. $20. $10. $20. $10. $10. So I'm hoping these perform as well um, as the Beauty Blender. I know I've seen so many videos lately about different sponges, but I actually haven't seen any reviews on the Ulta brand sponge. Um, I'm trying to open it now so I can just give it a squeeze. Give it a squeeze. It does feel a lot more dense right off the bat, even dry. It does feel a lot more. Let's see. Oh, that one's so dirty though. Really? Look how dirty this is. I'm cleaning sponges today. I'm cleaning everything. It is more dense, but not that much. Hmm. All right, we'll give it a go. Next tutorial. These light pink colored ones are going to be the Ulta brand. So that is it. My tiny little mini haul. Um, I did pick up some from Michaels if you're interested for my Halloween tutorials I did pick up but I couldn't find crap for Halloween makeup because I was too lazy to drive to the Halloween store so I got this tray here from Snazaroo face paint so some Halloween tutorials coming your way that's it for this tutorial that's it for this haul guys give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already leave me some nice comments down below <laughs> See you Tuesday. Bye, guys.